guys. So today I've got some of my favorite high performance sunscreens, ones I use if I'm going to be outside a lot, going to the beach, going on the boat, exercising outside. So these are favorites. Some of them are not the most enjoyable to wear on a daily basis because they either contain a lot of alcohol or the filters are a little bit much or can cause sensitivity or white cast, etc. So these are my favorites. Some of them actually are ones that are great on day-to-day -day basis. And all of these are just ones I pick on days. I'm going to be outside a lot. The sun's really hot, etc. So, Bioderma, you can't go wrong with Bioderma sunscreens. It makes some amazing sunscreens with really high UVA protection. If you remember, UVA protection is the rays that age you. UVB rays burn you. So, it's important to protect your skin from both. And more and more comes out every year about UVA rays and how damaging they can be. And really, it's more recent that we know a lot about it especially like in the last few decades. So Bioderma, their Photoderm Aqua Fluid is amazing. It has a PPD of 24. Compare that to some American-based sunscreens, which have a PPD or UVA protection of like nine. It's like double. Uh, but even more impressive, their Photoderm Cream has a PPD of 42. Although they're not printing them on their newer boxes. I'm not sure why. They now consider proprietary information. I think more transparency is great, especially with sunscreens, especially with percentage of filters. I wish all brands in all countries had to do that. But anyway, so Bioderma, they also have tinted versions of these. Uh, they're both fragrance-free, alcohol-free, very nice. Uh, both contain four filters, do a great job. Okay, the next one up is the La Roche Posay Shaka. They have a fragrance-free version of it, which is great for sensitive skin or people that don't like scent in their products. They also have a tinted version. I picked up the tinted version. It did not work well for me. I really prefer when brands release tinted versions if they create like three tints, light, medium, and deep, so that everyone can use them. But generally tints tend to work well for a few people and not so much for the others. This one is great. This one has a PPD of 46.6, which is amazing. Uh, it does contain some alcohol, which I don't mind. It helps the sunscreen form a nice film and cover your skin evenly but not something I prefer on a daily basis because at the end of the day or after using it for a few days, my skin can sting a bit at, at night. So keep that in mind. This one's really nice though. Water, sweat resistant, which is great. And if you're talking about water and sweat resistant, I've got another sunscreen coming up that does a really great job. It's actually made for sweating. So, okay, next up is the Ultruist. It's not their traditional packaging. I bought it through Groom Beauty, G-R-U-U-M. They make a couple sunscreens that are known by other brands. Uh, and the nice thing is through Beauty Bay, I can get my hands on this where I was trying to get my hands on the Ultraist Ultraist formula in the US is actually really hard. So the nice thing is through Beauty Bay, I can get it pretty easily. Uh, the Ultraist formula contains eight filters, which is a lot. It's not my favorite to use on a daily basis because it has a bit of a white cast. It's combo uh, mineral chemical sunscreen. Some people notice their skin gets a little sensitive to it. It's probably because it contains so many filters. So this isn't something I use on a daily basis, but if I'm going to be outside or out on the boat for several hours, this is a great pick. Um, very nice sunscreen. Okay, and next up is P20. So if you're somebody that doesn't diligently reapply, like we should, no one's perfect, I get it. This is a great brand for you because they... they uh, maintain and market that their sunscreen does a great job for they say up to like six or ten hours so they don't really say you need to reapply it but if you think about it you still should because it doesn't hurt to reapply it uh, the p20 alcohol free fragrance free uh, six filters very water resistant they say um, not my most elegant favorite sunscreen to use but if I'm going to be outside or if I'm going to be out and I'm not going to have a chance to reapply, it's a great option. I'd rather have a white cast today than wrinkles tomorrow, I guess. Although a white cast today isn't very fun either, but trust me, it's a better option. Okay, next up. This one is also my favorite daily sunscreen. This is the Ali Kenbo Extra UV Gel. They make some great sunscreens. No fragrance in this one. This one is Combo Mineral Chemical Sunscreen. Uh, very impressive. Fragrance-free. Does contain alcohol, so I can't use it every single day, but I can use this one several days in a row without having any, any issues. Four filters. Very, very, very light white cast. Not super noticeable. I love using this one on a day-to-day -day basis or if I'm going to be outside a lot even. This one just does it all. I love this one. It's amazing. So I hope they never stop making this one. 
please, because I go to that one a lot. Okay, so sweating, exercising outside, Anessa is a great brand. They've got technology. It's their super special wet, I didn't call it special wet sweat proof technology. It enhances UV protection uh, to form a film when you sweat or get wet, which is amazing. So it's special technology, very sensitive, skin friendly. Look for their mild formulas. Those generally are fragrance free. And I think most of them are alcohol free too, but this one's my favorite. No alcohol, no fragrance, five filters, combo, mineral, chemical, on the more hydrating side, but if I'm gonna be exercising outside, and I don't really exercise, I walk, but I still get hot and sweaty. This one's a great one. And I really actually like using this on a daily basis too. So, okay, then I've got three runner-ups. So those are my favorite ones, but I have three runner-ups that weren't at the top of the pack, but still in there with some great sunscreens. Eisden Fusion Water, this one's so light. I really enjoy it. I was actually a little surprised. It's alcohol free. It does have a slight fragrance that dissipates very quickly. It's barely noticeable. Five filters, all chemicals, uh, also contains some nice antioxidants, including vitamin C. Feels very, very light on skin. So if you have oilier skin type, this one might be a nice option. Um, okay, then I need to review more from their brand. Kose Suncut. Their sun cut line is really nice. I've tried a lot of them out. I got to review them. I don't know why. For some reason, they just end up in the back of my mind. I don't know, back of my head. Um, so this is their sun cut, fragrance free, does contain some alcohol, five filters, chemical filters, and titanium dioxide. Very affordable brand. So if you look at Yes Style, they've got a lot of these and they're all super affordable, generally in larger bottles too, which is very nice. So definitely I'll do a full review of that one. And last but not least, Eucerin. Uh, Avene is also makes some great sunscreens. I just haven't found a favorite Avene one I like though, but they do have some really good high performance sunscreens. I just haven't found a favorite. So that's why they're not on this list. Not because they don't have some great sunscreens, just because I didn't have a personal favorite. But for Eucerin, this one's very nice. There's sun fluid sensitive protect SPF 50. Fragrance free does contain alcohol, it's mattifying. But in the heat of summer or humidity of summer, which is, you know, in Minnesota, like we get the worst. We get super humid summer and dry winters. But this one is a winner for, especially for oilier skin types, contains six filters, mineral and chemical. And um, they mentioned it's reef safe. I don't see that anywhere on here, but that's what they say. Avene, if you're looking for reef safe, Avene is, does a lot with reef. So if you're close to an ocean, think about that. But there's some controversy there, but I'll, that's a whole nother video. So I won't even get into that. But anyway, so another good option. So these are my favorites. The Eevee Moose, I can't wait. It's supposed to be here any day now. So maybe next year that'll be in my top roundup. We'll see the Norman UV Cure. That's also a great one, hard to get in the US. So I'm getting good at smuggling, but I hope the FDA doesn't show up at my house. I don't know. If they did, they I'm gonna hide this all in my safe or something. So anyway. Those are my favorites. I'm interested in what your favorite high performance sunscreens are. If I mentioned it, if not, leave a comment with what yours is uh, below. Love hearing from you guys and stay tuned for more tomorrow. Thank you so much, guys.